closed roads and highways, thousands of downed trees and tens of thousands of, of people still without power. Today, crews have been busy trying to clear some of the damage done from the latest round of freezing rain. Thanks for joining us here this afternoon. I'm Ariel Yakabazi. Now we have team coverage here this afternoon for you. Joey Vaca will join us live from the airport where travelers are finally getting on flights. We'll also look at some of the damage done by fallen trees. But first, let's get started with Chief Meteorologist Dylan Robichard with our Storm Tracker 9 forecast. Dylan, when can we see things getting more back to normal? Uh, we're already starting to, and that's really the good sigh of relief is that, you know, outside today, we're finally back into the 50s. Man, it is nice. Look at the next seven days. We'll be looking at temperatures at 57 degrees here on Friday, so it gets really nice. Let's touch base, though, on the amount of rainfall uh, that we had out there today because you look at Florence, they had over an inch and a half of rainfall, and these actually came from weather observers, and this was last updated at about 9 o'clock this morning, so... You know, it's possible that we've added to these totals since that point, but look at Depot Bay, uh, 1.16 inches, Roseburg over an inch for you, and Eugene also by now, I think we're probably up and over an inch of rain in the city of Eugene. Here's the deal though, this rain is moving up to the north and we're gonna be looking at just a few leftover showers as we go into tonight. Look at the temperatures though, Corvallis still chilly, 36 degrees. It is warmer out there today, but that south wind wasn't quite as intense as we were hoping. And as a result, the warm air kind of got hung up here in Eugene with a high of 47. Look at Corvallis, so much colder for you guys. Uh, down the road we go, Oakland 53. Good evening, Roseburg, you're at 54. And uh, good evening, Winston, you guys are sitting at 53. Now, here's the thing, compare this to yesterday at this time, and now we're talking, it's about 20 degrees warmer in the city of Eugene, and it is just amazing to finally see these warmer temperatures. And the warmth is not going anywhere. Look at the next two weeks, above average from New England, across the Ohio River Valley, right across the Colorado Rockies, and uh, here in Oregon, things will be very mild as we go into the next seven to 14 days or so. Ariel?